Octavia. The delegates have assembled. Dressing me up doesn't fool anyone. <laughs> My blood is red, and it always will be. So 502 is called The Red Queen. It was written by Terry Hughes Burton, directed by PJ Pesh. Obviously, at the end of 501, we caught that last scene uh, where Octavia is presiding over what looks like some kind of gladiatorial hell. And in this episode, again, structurally very different for us, we're going to flash back. It's completely contained to the bunker. We haven't opened this door since prime file. Marcus, there's something wrong. It won't open. It's sealed from above. If the buildings collapse, then we're not getting out. It is an all Second Dawn Bunker story, and it really tells the story of Octavia's evolution. We are one crew. The Lord spoken easily by those about to die in prime fire. But without a true commander to unite us, we are warring clans. She wasn't born for leadership the way that the other commanders have been. And this is the episode where she really needs to own it. This bunker wasn't yours to give. Cooper. Jaha found it. It belonged to us. You had no right. She comes into the bunker. She feels like she's done her job. She saved them all. And now all she wants to do is be left alone to train. And they're all looking at her to lead them. Sky crew, on your feet! And then events transpire in this episode that force her to really sort of step up into that leadership role. TV, this isn't a game. Auslea has decided. No offense, but your champion hasn't been very interested in leading. She's interested now. 